Hi ladies, I hope you guys are well. Um, missing you, all your faces, all your kitties. Um, by the time we get together again, your babies will all be so grown up. Um, yeah, I just thought I would put together a quick class video in case you like me and haven't been doing that much um, and feeling a bit weak and unfit. We're going to start again with all the basics, pelvic floor, some bridging, and um, this class I thought I would also just keep nice and simple because I know as soon as lockdown's over, everyone's wanting to just run out the door and go running. So before we run, we really need to make sure that um, you know, our hips and our pelvic floor and everything is nice and strong. So yeah, join in. All you need is a ball, a soft ball, or a soft toy, or a yoga block. I'm using my yoga block to hold my phone up. So I'm going to use a soft toy between my knees for the first one. And then for a later exercise, we need a sturdy chair to be able to press on. That's not going to go anywhere. So um, get a mat, get a towel, get something soft to put your bum on. And we're going to start. On your back with your knees up. And we're just going to start, let me check you can see me, um, with a neutral spine. So just leaving some space for some ants to crawl underneath your, your spine. Your shoulders tucked underneath you. Your neck nice and long and your shoulders away from your ears. Your, your heels are about hand distance away from your bum. And we're going to start in by trying to start off by trying to switch off these overactive shoulder muscles and using that diaphragm to breathe deeply into our belly. So one hand on your tummy. If you want, you can put a hand on your chest to make sure it's not going anywhere. But we're going to try by breathing deeply in through your nose and filling up your belly with air and then out through your nose. Good. And again, deep breath in through your nose into your tummy and out through your nose. Now I want you to think about that pelvic floor, that hammock of muscles holding everything in. And as you take that nice deep breath into your belly, it's almost like you're pushing that hammock out and down and we're lengthening and relaxing that pelvic floor. Almost like you're letting go to do a wee and pushing down. And then as we breathe out and push that air out of our abdomen, we're going to squeeze up like we're pulling um, our pelvic floor, like we're holding back a wee and a wind at the same time. So we're breathing into our bellies, relaxing that pelvic floor, letting go, and then breathing out and squeezing up like you're holding back a wind. Still keeping that neutral spine in your back. Breathing in, fill your bellies with air, relax that pelvic floor, and then breathing out. Sucking that air out of your lungs and squeezing up that pelvic floor. Breathing in, letting go, relaxing, lengthening that pelvic floor and then breathing out, squeezing everything and holding up. Now we're going to do that together with lifting up into a bridge. So getting your soft ball, if you've got one or whatever you've got to squash between your knees. Again, our hands are about... Um, um, our hands are just close to our feet we're pushing down we're clenching our knees together and slowly vertebra by vertebra we're going to lift our bums off the mat as we're breathing out getting to the top holding it there and breathing in into your belly relaxing the pelvic floor and then breathing out and we come down, vertebra by vertebra, thoracic spine, that lumbar spine, that lower back, and then lastly that tailbone down. So deep breath into your belly, relax that pelvic floor, and then squeezing up as we squeeze out, or lifting vertebra by vertebra all the way to the top as high as it is comfortable for you. can push down to your hands if you need. Breathing in, relaxing, and then as we breathe out, squeezing up as we slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time. Good. Relaxing, deep breath in, letting it all go, and squeezing in, we're going up again, curling up that spine, 
good one at a time pushing down through your shoulders and your feet equally and then breathing in letting go and slowly down as we breathe out and one vertebra at a time pushing down through your heels your toes should be able to lift up quite easily good and coming down nicely and we're going again take a last count breathing in and out as we lift pushing down holding at the top deep breath in as we're breathing out slowly coming down again and get to the bottom deep breath in relax that pelvic floor relax those knees and then as you're coming up again pushing your toy together or your ball as we slowly lift one vertebra at a time all the way up not sure what we're on but let's do one more deep breath in and out as we slowly rock down one at a time good deep breath in at the bottom relax that pelvic floor let it all go and last one we're going up squeezing on your ball pushing down squeezing all that air out as we get to the top good deep breath in and now we're going to pulse just for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't flop down. Nice and slow and controlled. Good. Nearly there. Good. And relax. Breathing deeply into your belly. And relaxing our pelvic floor. Okay, we'll lose our little ball and now we're going to open those legs wide putting those heels of your feet together and relaxing those on the mat breathing deeply into your tummy and then we're going to try to pick up our blueberry into our vaginas as we lift that pelvic the whole pelvis up into the air in a butterfly bridge you can use your hands if you need to push down we've still got that little curve um, a little gap underneath our spine to start so a deep breath into your belly as you relax and let go of the pelvic floor and then as we lift up we squeezing in squeezing up and we lifting as high as you can go good and down again one vertebra at a time all the way down and then relaxing let go of that blueberry that you picked up and then we're going to take a deep breath in relax the pelvic floor and then squeezing up tight picking up your blueberries as you lift we're going for six good this is number two you can still count and slowly down vertebra by vertebra good. as you get to the bottom relaxing letting go of your blueberry good deep breath in Lengthen the pelvic floor nicely before squeezing up. You're holding back a wee and a wind and curling up that spine all the way to the top. Good, as high as you can comfortably manage. And then slowly down one vertebra at a time. Good, keep squeezing onto your blueberry. And when you get to the bottom, let go. Relax. Deep breath in. Relax and lengthen that pelvic floor. As you're breathing out, we're curling up again. Good. Hold it at the top and then slowly down again. One vertebra at a time, pushing those heels together, holding onto your blueberry and getting down to the bottom, relaxing and letting go. Good. And again, two more. Squeezing up your blueberry after a deep breath out, in and out, and lifting up, good, and coming down, good, and let go, relax, relax that pelvic floor, breathe in deeply, and as you're breathing out, we're lifting up for the last one, 
good. Can we just do three at the top? One, two, three, and slowly down, one vertebra at a time. Good. Very good. Okay, the next one, we've got legs out straight. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is a little circuit. We're going to do one minute then of three exercises, then 45 seconds of three exercises, and then 30 seconds of three exercises, the same three. So nice and easy just to start getting those abdominals working again. I'll just show you all three exercises quickly, and then I'll do them with you for first a minute, then 45, then 30. So we're going to lie on our backs, feel like you've got your little curve um, in your lower spine, you've got um, that neutral spine, so your ants can climb underneath there. And we're just going to lift up your head and check on those abdominals, that they're not pushing out into your hands, that you're actually able to draw and suck them in. You can hold on to your neck so you can relax and you're not tensing at the neck, but we are engaging those abdominals. And then we're going to lift um, one leg up at a time so we're just going down with the one and down with the other so we're in pointing those toes so that we're engaging our quads nicely and working those leg muscles and all we're doing is just lifting those heads off the mat to check on those abdominals if your tummy's feeling nice and strong and you're way past this early stage you can lift up quite a bit higher as long as you're feeling like your tummy's coming in and not pushing out Okay, next exercise we're going to do is up into a tabletop and we are marching. Like you're balancing a cup of tea on your hips without any movement, nice and controlled, placing the feet up and down and march for a minute. And then the last one we're going to do is either with straight legs, if you've got nice long hamstrings, or if you like me with short hamstrings, you can bend. We're going to dig those feet into the mat, the legs not moving, and punching side to side, getting a nice twist at the um, spine and engaging those abdominals nicely. Okay, so let me start my timer because I'm very bad at keeping track. We're starting on our back and we're going for a minute. Are you ready? We're lifting up our head, lifting up one leg to start, holding in those abdominals and we're checking the time and we're crossing over. One leg at a time, tummy drawn in, don't forget to breathe. Making sure those hips are nice and stable, pointing those toes nicely. And we're only going for a minute and we're nearly half there. And we should be able to see those tummy muscles are pulling away from your hand, not pushing out. And if you find that's too difficult and you're pushing out, just drop your head and do it one leg at a time while drawing those hips together, drawing that lower transverse abdominus muscle in. But if you can, lift your head. Lifting up is good. 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go straight into our tabletop marching. Good. And we're stopping this one. Coming up, hands behind you facing forward, up into a nice tabletop as high as you can go and trying to just slowly check the time, lift one leg at a time as you place it down. We should be able to balance a cup of tea on those hips as we lift the leg, almost imagining like you're in between two sheets of glass, you're not shifting side to side. Don't forget to breathe deeply into your belly. There, there, keep going. Pushing those shoulders away from your ears, pushing down to your hands. If this is hurting your wrists, you can turn your hands the other way. Keep going. Nearly there. going to go into our long sitting, punching side to side. Good. Onto your bum. 
if you can be straight up you can stay straight or you can bend your knees and we're going side to side just making sure you're drawing your abdominals in towards your spine if you're feeling super strong you can lean back a bit but if you're not too strong you can just sit upright we're trying to keep the legs as still as possible we're trying to really get those frustrations out Punch side to side. Well done. Half a minute. Keep going. Nice strong legs not moving. Making yourself as tall as possible through your neck and your head. Shoulders down. Ten more seconds. And then we're going back into 45 seconds of our head lifts. Good, and straight back onto your back. Lie yourself down. And we're just going for 45 seconds and work on our lats. Good, we're lifting our heads up, checking on those abdominals. And we're doing one leg out to the side. Nice pointed toe. Nice strong leg. Good. If you can't control that tummy, then just rest your head back. You're still working those lower transverse abdominus muscles. This is just activating the rectus abdominus as well. You don't want to see the bulge in the middle. So if you're bulging, rather just put your head back. Can lift up, keep going. Ten more seconds. You're nearly there. And then we're going up into a tabletop. Use your leg to roll you up. Good. Hands facing forward. You can turn them to the side if you're struggling. Up as high as you can manage. And we're marching. For 45. Place those feet up, slowly up, slowly down. Or should I say fast up, slowly down. Keep breathing into your belly. Nearly there, 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go into our long sitting punching. Good, lower yourself down. Dig your knees in, lift yourself up tall. And we're going for 45. Twisting, breathing, holding your belly back. those shoulders away from your ears make sure your legs aren't moving at all that's my timer keep going 15 more seconds fast as you can get out all those frustrations and then we're just going to go back to 30 seconds of the head lift Good, and stop. Let's go back down onto our backs. Good, one leg up. And we're drawing in our tummy muscles, lifting up your head. And we're doing one leg than the other. Good. Keep going, point those toes nicely. You're doing a ballet. Strengthen those legs at the same time. I lost my timer again. Good, five more seconds, and then we're going into the bridge, the tabletop, and we're marching for 30. 
like that. That's fine. Nice and straight. Now put your head back. Your neck is getting sore and warm. Nice and slow and neutral. Placing your feet down. Little heavy elephant feet. Your hips are staying up. And they're staying at the same height. So you could balance a cup of tea on them. More seconds before we punch the fifty. Good. Lower yourself down. Dig your heels in. Up nice and tall. Draw in those abdominals. And let's go. Punching as fast as you can. Good. 30 seconds and we're done. Ten more seconds. Very good. No, no.
and hold it with your hands on your hips or out to the side or if you ever did ballet practice all your positions um, I didn't do ballet but yeah we're just seeing can we try hold hold that balance and just while you get that balance can you just bring your mind to that pelvic floor abdominal area this is where your balance and your core strength really comes into play and that pelvic floor automatically engages and just switches on and holds as you you find that stability and that strength good see if you can just engage that gently that's a good way to check that that pelvic floor is doing its job nicely then we're going to do 10 calf raises while we're here. Hold on to something if you've got your chair close by. And then we just go up and down for 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Before we go back to some ballet, I'm going to do 10 curtsies and this is just to get those adductors and abductors working I'm going to go 10 on each side 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 10, 10 more because we're doing both sides. Nice and low, nice and controlled. Good. Okay, I hope you're feeling as sweaty as I am. We're going to do three sets of um, 20. Three different exercises. We're going to do robot running man on both legs which is a nice and controlled um, movement so we're going to go down into a lunge and then up, lunge up, we're going to do 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other Then we're going to do 20 knee taps on the ground so coming into a nice tabletop strong position and toes curled under we're going to lift up our knees tap them down lift up our knees tap them down 20 and then mountain climbers on your sturdy tray if you're still feeling quite weak um, if you're strong and you've been doing these on the ground and do them on the ground if you only newly postpartum then on the chair to start draw the tummy in and we're going opposite knee to opposite elbow and we're going to do 20 on each leg no, sorry, 20 altogether, 10 on each leg. Okay, or you can do them on the ground. So let's start with our left leg first, or whatever leg is on this side for you. And we're going for 20, down into a lunge, up, nice and controlled. Good, two, three, four, placing that leg down quietly. Dying here. Let's go on the other leg. We're going down into a lunge and then lifting that leg up. As you're lifting the leg up, you're making sure those hips are stable, the tummy is switched on. Totally lost track. I think that's six, seven, eight. Then we're going down onto the floor for 20, making sure your body's nice and strong, nice and square. Wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Tummy is nice and tight, shoulders away from your ears. And we're lifting for 20 quick taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. Have a rest, have a breather. Deep breath into your belly. Let's go for 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Into your mountain climbers. You can be on the mat with your body nice and strong, shoulders pushing away, pushing the ground away, or you can be up on a chair. And we join tummy in, come up onto your toes, pushing the chair away, pushing your shoulders away from your ears, and we're going 10 on each side. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Back to our robots, our running men. And we're going 10 on each side, whichever side you started on. Let's go. Nice lunge and lift. Nice and controlled. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And your other leg. No, arms the same. One, two, three, four, five, six is my wobbly side, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. One to four, all fours for your knee taps, pushing the ground away. Don't sink into those shoulders. Lift them up nicely. Let's go. Eight, nine, ten. Have a breather if you need a breather. Keep going if you're going strong. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And straight into your mountain climbers. I'll do them on the mat here. Let's go. Twenty all together. Ten to each side. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Not another one. <laughs> okay, well done, ladies. Um, and we're just going to end off with the last final thing. I'm hoping this is going to be a super quick workout that you can do. Um, yeah, 20 minutes once the kids are asleep. Just some quick time for yourself, so I don't think it's going to be long. It's taken me forever, but that's with some um, kids stopping me every few minutes. We're going to end off on a one minute plank because we've all got to be able to do a plank if we want those tummy muscles nice and strong. If you feel like you've got too much of a diastasis and you're feeling that coning or bulge, then we're just going to do that position like that. Up, one, up with straight arms and drawing in. If that's too much, don't do it at all. Um, but if you can handle that, you can try to go up on your arms and see can you control that abdomen. And if you are progressed enough that you feel that those rectus abdominis muscles are con and that transverse abdominis muscle is controlling the bulge between the rectus abdominis, then we're going onto your elbows and we're going to push up and see if you newly postpartum. 10 20 seconds for my ladies who've been coming for a while we're going for a minute so i hope you started with me we're pushing their shoulders away from the ears we're pushing our we're not dropping into our spines we're lifting out and we're trying to keep our bums down nicely and we're remembering to breathe and if you can even just do this every day so good for shoulder strength leg strength abdominal strengthening even between nappies and nap times and playing with kids a little plank here and there i'll keep it going um, i'm not really keeping track of the time <laughs> let's see if you can keep going for a full minute or for as long as you possibly can and well done for making it through this little workout if you enjoyed it and you want more or you want longer, 
let me know. Okay, I'm dying here. I'm sure that's about a minute. Um, also then just to end off, we can do this in your own time, some stretching. I love to do a downward dog to stretch just because I have very tight hamstrings, so I always think that's helpful. And obviously good shoulder strengthening as well. So, and always good to let that blood rush to your head. Let's go into a downward dog to end off. You can stretch your legs out one at a time if your hamstrings are still feeling a bit tight, but hopefully you've loosened up a bit after all your exercise. Breathing deeply into your tummy. Good. And then pushing down. So a nice still dog and feeling that good stretch behind your knees. There's calves, there's hamstrings. And your shoulders. down onto your knees and we're gonna go pull one leg nice and forward so we can get a good stretch and those hip flexors try and lift yourself up as high as you can before stretching forward this front leg should be out perpendicular as much as you can get it there and then resting forward breathing deeply into your tummy your stretches for as long time as you have but if you're in a hurry then go on to your other leg oh this is my tight side getting that out as much as you can hips forward facing forward and feeling those nice stretch in those bum muscles lifting up before stretching leaning forward as far as you can really into your belly I hope you're not watching me do this, it's not pretty. Good, then we're just going to go onto our backs and do a little glute stretch. So you can pull your one leg up as your one leg stays down into your armpit. And then bending the knee, dropping that knee down as far as you can, threading your hands through the hole and pulling those up. Get a nice glute piriformis stretch. Relaxing your shoulders, breathing nicely into your tummy. Good. Then we're sounds in the house. Okay, so I'm just trying to work. And the other leg. A nice good stretch. And if you've got some extra time, keep on stretching because by being at home and not doing too much, we're probably um, tightening up all the wrong things, especially our hip flexors, sitting too much. Um, so some good exercises just to do if you waiting for the kettle to boil or you know, in between are some wall sits, some planking, some um, lunges, some squats. Every time you change a nappy, 20 squats is a good one to do. Um, and then just stretching if you do ever get some spare time in the evening to just um, stretch, especially after a warm shower or warm bath is really good. Okay. Um, yeah, good little squeeze. And roll side to side. Thanks, ladies. I hope you take the time to do this. I hope you enjoy it. And if you'd like me to do some more, then just let me know. I'm happy to to send out some more videos. Okay, sending lots of love to you all. Bye.